Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. Being able to do a breast examination is really important. This is how you can find breast lumps and other things that should get checked out. Doing a breast examination is actually very easy. The problem is many of you may be doing it incorrectly, potentially causing you to miss things. Knowledge is power when it comes to breast health. And so in this video, I am going to show you how to do a breast examination the correct way. So first of all, what are you looking for? You should look at the shape of the breast and then look at the skin. So are there any irregularities in the shape and the contour of the breast? If a lump is present, sometimes you can actually see a fullness on the breast itself. Look for any dimpling of the skin. People get a little bit confused when they hear this term. And what it actually means is that the skin is drawn inwards, exactly like a dimple of the cheeks. Remember to also look at the nipples as well. Beware if the nipple is pulled inwards, also known as inversion, and also look for spontaneous nipple discharge. And finally, look for any skin rashes or any changes in the skin texture. A question I get asked all the time is, what does a lump feel like? And actually, a lump feels like a lump. So you can imagine a small bean or a marble within the breast. That is what a lump will feel like. Sometimes it may feel well-defined and other times it may feel well less defined with a vague outline. People who come to see me with a lump will be able to point very confidently to that particular area of the breast. Now that we understand the signs and symptoms to look out for, let's move on to the practical part, how to perform a breast self-examination. So firstly, find a comfortable location with a mirror. This could be in your bathroom or your bedroom. Let's start with the looking or inspection part. So in front of the mirror, while standing with your arms down on your side, look at your breast for all the changes I mentioned earlier. Look at the outline of the breast, the nipple, and then the skin. Continue to look at your breasts whilst raising your hands above your head, and then whilst putting them on your hips and pressing against them. The reason why you are doing this is because abnormalities in the breast can be made more visible by different positions of the arms, as well as the chest. After that, you now move on to the feeling or the palpation part of the examination. Now, preferably you do this whilst lying down, but if you need to do this you know, while standing up, that's okay too. The hand you use will examine the opposite breast and vice versa. So left hand examines the right breast, right hand examines the left breast. Please remember to use the flat of your fingers to do the examination. Now, many people make the mistake by either pinching the breast or prodding the breast. And if you do it this way, you are not doing a correct examination. And in fact, you may actually miss some lumps. It doesn't matter where you start on the breast, as long as you remember to cover the whole of the breast, including the nipple. So you can either move from one quadrant to the next, or you can move sideways. It doesn't really matter. You should start with a light pressure and go around and then follow it again with a slightly firmer pressure so that you are feeling the depth of the breast. You don't actually have to press down too hard. And if you are hurting yourself, you are definitely doing it too hard. Don't forget your nipple as well. And lastly, you need to remember to examine your armpits. And many people do this the wrong way. And this is the reason why. The important thing when you are examining your armpit or axilla is that you need to open up your armpit by relaxing your arm like this. By doing this, it actually allows you to go deep into your armpit for a proper examination. If you examine your armpit um, whilst you're raising your arm like this, the armpit is actually closed, which is counterintuitive. But if you do it this way, you actually won't be able to get deep into the armpit. Then obviously you do it on the other side. So how often should you examine your breast? Once a month is sufficient. And you should try to do it at the same time during the month. And if you're premenopausal, I would suggest you do it after your period has ended, when your breasts are back to its normal state. Regular breast self-examinations are a crucial part of maintaining breast health. Remember, it's not just about knowing how to do it, but it's also being aware of the signs and symptoms that might indicate a problem. And if you ever notice any changes or have any concerns, then do reach out to see a medical professional. I'll see you in the next one.